Howdy everyone, welcome back to Bruising Books. I'm your host Camille and today I've got a book haul for you with a twist. Um, my twist is, is that I'll be doing it drunk. I don't have my glasses on so I can't see so it um, elevates the uh, tipsy and drunkness. We love that. Um, so I have not done a book haul in a while, probably since the beginning of the year. Um, the beginning of the year was like my time to buy as many books as possible before um, I put myself on an official like buying ban. And I had done pretty darn well with not buying a ton of books. But recently, probably within the next last like month and a half, all I've done is buy, buy, buy. And, but I haven't bought any books. I've only been buying like graphic novels, manga, comic books, because those are very quick reads and I can get through those really quickly versus buying 10 different books um, and then sitting on my shelves for five years. So we did not do that. So I have a ton of stuff to talk about. I'm really excited to talk about all of them. So bear with me as I keep chugging and having some fun. I had one previous beer before this, and it was a sour ale. Um, it was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, I think I would give it, I'm not gonna review, I'll leave the brews down in the description box so you can see what I tried, um, and I'll give it the rating, make sure the rating is in there. But I really liked it, I think I gave it four out of five stars. This one is a, um, I think this one's just a pale, it's a pale ale. Um, and I do believe it's by Tubbs Brewing. One of my favorites. Um, and this one I'm giving three out of five. It is really good. I also have other beers, also liquor on standby if things just aren't clocking in how they should. But I'm hoping that it doesn't get to that point because I mean, I do have off tomorrow, but whatever. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get into the haul. So I'm going to talk about, um, I am going to talk about the books that I've gotten very, very recently. Like this, I'm going to talk about the books that people have given me recently. How about that? That makes more sense to me. So the first book that I have received is Lost in the Clouds by R.K. Gold. And R.K. Gold is the author of Beds for Flowers. And he is a sweetheart. I um, follow him on Twitter and he's just a sweet baby angel. He definitely gifted this to me and I'm just so excited to be able to have another piece of his work. And I really look forward to reading it and loving it and screaming at him about it and be like, this is amazing, where's the next one? So thank you, thank you, RK. I really, really appreciate it. Then the next piece of work that I got is a graphic novel called Moonstruck. Jasmine at Pardon My Imagination gave this to me for my birthday, super sweet, as well as this lovely ring light. So I really appreciate her. I'm so excited to read this. I'm gonna read the synopsis on the back because I love reading synopsis. In the little college town of Blythen, Fantasy creatures live cozy, normal lives right alongside humans. And werewolf barista Julia strives to be the most normal of all. But all heck breaks loose when she and her new girlfriend Selena go on a disastrous, disastrous first date that ends with a magician casting a horrible, sp horrible spell on their friend Chet. Now it's up to the team of mythical pals to stop the illicit illusionist before it's too late. That was hard to read. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm so absolutely stoked to read it. It's been on my DVR for so long. It's so cute. I love anything with supernatural creatures. It's just really, really cool. So thank you, Jasmine. All right. Another book that I received Ooh. 
The Crowns of Croswald by D.E. Knight. So basically I was uh, gifted this um, in turn for a review. So I'm actually in the process of reading it and finishing it. I'm so, it's really, really good. I like the magical system in here. I haven't gotten too, too deep into it and I don't want to give away too much, but a review is coming. So be on the lookout. But I'm really looking forward to finishing this and thank you DE Knight for gifting this to me. We've got to keep the juices flowing people. We're here for a good time, not a long time. So just gotta, gotta do it. This is turning out. All right, and now I get to tell you all the books that I bought myself over the last lots of months since the beginning of the year. There's a good chunk. Okay, so we'll start with first editions because I've got a good chunk of like second, third, fourth, fifth editions in here, and I just, you know. So, first editions that I have purchased, Blackbird, because look at this cover. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, the cover, fam. Oh, I love it so much, but I'm, this has been like, just about every single one of these first editions, excuse me, have been on my TBR for a long, oh, sorry, this is going to happen the whole entire video, um, have been on my TBR for a quite some time. And I'm just now picking it up because of course, buying ban, I have to adult. So adults can't buy tons of graphic novels all the time. Um, so Blackbird, we're going to give the synopsis. Mm -mm -mm. The great beast, magic is like water. Your heart is a fountain. There's a magical world ha ha There's a magical world hiding in Los Angeles and Nina Rodriguez knows it. When an enormous earth otherworldly beast kidnaps her sister, Nina must confront her past and her demons, not to mention the ruthless cabals in charge of the city's magic to get her sister back and reclaim her life. That's it. That's all of it. Sorry. But yeah. Like, this is so cute. Oh, I'm in love, y'all. I love this cover so much. It's so pretty. Uh, it's by Sam Humphreys and Jim Bartell. I will make sure I leave all of the graphic novels and the respective authors and artists in the description box. The next first edition, first volume, I guess, it's not really an edition, but is it? I don't know what I'm saying, is Pearl. This also is an absolutely beautiful cover. I love, oh god, it's so bright. It's on a white, sorry y'all. Ooh, but it's really pretty. Um, yeah, yeah, let's read that synopsis. Pearl Tanaka is an outsider among outsiders. A Japanese American with alb albinism. Oh, I have a hard time. Albinism. She was born into a world ruled by the American y Yakuza. Yaku now she uses her un unequaled skills as a tattoo artist to make a living in San Francisco and all that she owes to the Yakuza is the occasional kickback from her shop. That all changes the day that she meets Rick Araki and saves his life. Rick is another tattoo artist who's run, who's run afoul of a different Yakuza clan. By interfering with their hit on, their hit on him, Pearl risks drama, by God, by interfering with their hit on him, Pearl risks drawing her patron into a deadly gang war. 
Worse, Pearl has revealed to her Yakuza bosses one of her deepest secrets. She has a talent for killing. Now to pay off her debt, she must become an assassin for her Yakuza clan. But Pearl Tanaka's secrets run more than skin deep. It's gonna be good, y'all. Ooh. I really like the art in here, too. Bye, y'all. I'm going to go read this. <laughs> See you in a little bit. All right, okay. So, the next first volume that I got is Descender. <laughs> Descender, this one is by Jeff Lemire? Lamar? Lemire? Who knows? The world's his oyster. The world's my oyster. Um, this one has been on, it's about space. And as some of you may know, I'm terrified of space. Um, it's just a world that I don't know, that no one knows really. And um, yeah, so for me to pick it, this up. So I will have to say, I'm very interested in graphic novels um, surrounded about outer space and like things in a different world. Um, but I'm definitely terrified of books and movies where space is involved. Cause I'm like, did y'all shoot that in space? Did you guys actually, it's different. I don't know, it's weird, but I don't care. But this one looks really, really interesting and I love the cover. I'm gonna just say that I love all the colors here. So just be prepared, understand, that's how it is. So the synopsis for this, 10 years after planet-sized robots call, called Harvesters appeared and wreaked havoc across the galaxy, a young android named Tim21 wakes to find that all robots have been outlawed. But Tim may hold the secrets to the Harvesters and this machine DNA, and he quickly becomes the most wanted robot in the universe. With bounty hunters and threats lurking at every turn, Tim embarks on a mind-blowing adventure through the stars along with his robot dog, Bandit. That's so cute. And the lumbering mining droid, Driller. Basic. Love it. Descenders. I like it. Um... I think it's gonna be a pretty good read about space. Okay. And on to my not so first editions. So we will do lovely saga. So I bought five before I bought four and I was really upset about it because I was like now I can't continue on I have to wait until I finally decide to buy four and then I can read five and eventually I did buy it and so if you guys you all don't know about saga what are you doing it's really good it's very supernatural-esque um, okay, uh, I can't give you a synopsis of these because I've already read them, but basically otherworldly, um, otherworldly supernatural creatures. Um, what are they called? Basically MIA, um, <sighs> war. The main characters, um, are married and they have a child and they are escaping their, both their worlds because both their worlds have always been at war and they, uh, their worlds are not very fond of their uh togetherness their marriedness so they're like on the run with their new baby and they're trying to escape that's it that's the whole synopsis so super good i liked it a lot <laughs> oh next volume skyward if you have not read the first one go pick up the first one 
the first one's so good and I picked up the second one and I can't wait to read it. Basically, this girl, she is living, I do believe it's Chicago that it's set in and there is no gravity. Gravity is gone. So it's basically talking about how she is coping with the fact that she cannot leave. She can't leave, but her dad is stopping her from leaving the city to go travel because he's terrified of what could happen and what she's never seen and what he's never seen. So it's just anti-gravity and her being upset with her dad and then not being upset with her dad and all hell breaks loose at some point. So I'm hoping in this one she gets to travel abroad and the possible love interest in this is really cute one and he doesn't have a leg and I love it so Skyward go pick it up I like it um I'm gonna just read the synopsis because I just gave you you're just gonna get a second synopsis um a fugitive in her home city of Chicago Willa Fowler hits the road, but there are new dangers awaiting her outside the city. Giant man-eating bugs, for instance. And maybe one or two old ones, too. Can Willa outrun her past, or will she be forced to turn and face it? We don't know. I've got to read it. All right. And the last volume... I'm, I didn't even tell you guys what volumes those volumes were, except for Saga. That's rude of me. Skyward was vol volume two, um, and I have Snot Girl. Wow, that light. Wow, dear heavens. Look at that cover, y'all. And I think, oh gosh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyhow, um, I think the... Um, what am I saying? This is volume two of Snot Girl. I'm very excited to read it. And that's because the colors, the plot. It was a cliffhanger during the first one. So I'm here to read what happens. The main character She's a sweetheart, but she's also annoying. I'm like, get it together, honey. You've got things to do, people to see. But she's just, ha she's having a moment. So I'm looking forward to figuring out if she figures out her moment and like gets it together. Um, yeah, but this cover's gorgeous, y'all. That's like really pretty. Part of me wants to be Snot Girl. She's gorgeous, but yeah. So I picked this one up. Let me or synopsis yes Lottie person is a fashion blogger living in the good living the good life in downtown Los Angeles as long as she can keep her good off her god-awful allergies a secret from her friends now she's dead set on inviting her new bestie Caroline to join the group even while troubling mysteries keep piling up around them There we go. And I also picked uh, the seventh issue of Snot Girl. So I am learning more about like comics and like graphic novels, how they're put together, that whole nine. So all I know is that, or at least what I've learned, is that an issue is compiled with other issues to create this so that's really cool and uh, I like the idea so I picked up issue seven my thing is I really hope I didn't pick up issue seven which is in like this volume but I doubt it I think I just figured it out. 
I bought issue issue seven. Issue seven is in here. I played myself. So, um, I might just do a giveaway if you want issue seven. <laughs> what? We'll see. I don't think anyone wants this, but we'll see. Whatever. Okay. So, Snot Girl. Snot Girl issue seven. It's in here. Man, that's... That's okay. It's okay. That's my book haul, y'all. That, that, that was all the books, graphic novels that I've gotten. Oh, no, I'm not done. Crap. <laughs> I'm definitely not done. I have two more. How could I forget? It's rude of me. Okay, so I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I just forgot. Okay, that's what happens when you drink a lot. Um, so I am in the process of collecting all of the, um, Claymore mangas because I've seen all the animes and I love them. Claymore is my favorite anime of all time. Change my mind? You won't. So I picked up volume two and volume three. <sighs> it's a dream. So I'm trying to finish collecting the rest of them. Um, I have one, two, and three now. So I think there's about seven in the total series, but I could be wrong. I think there's five. But besides the point, I'm collecting them. I have two and three. And I'm excited. So yeah, um, that officially ends my book haul. My tipsy probably more tipsy than drunk at this point. I haven't eaten all since earlier today. So it's probably mostly tipsy. But that concludes my tipsy book haul. Um, I hope you guys really liked it. Um, next time I'll be a little bit more tipsy before and that'll probably get something interesting at the beginning and instead of at the end. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like seriously, if you dig like the drunk tipsy, like book hauls, book tags, please let me know. I'm here for them. Um, if you like seeing content and videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, otherwise I don't have any more beer y'all. Um, as always, cheers to beer. And cheers to books. <laughs>